Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I haven't done a laugh like this in a long, long time, but I wanted to because I really need to speak about some things. If you really look at my title, it says witchcraft, blood of the chosen. The elites use blood to summon the power of darkness. Now, I got to tell you why this is happening, why I'm actually talking about this today. First of all, congratulations, everybody. This is the 14th day of the fast. Praise God. Praise God. There are things that is happening on a deeper level. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That the church don't want to talk about, that people don't want to talk about, that Christians don't want to talk about. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Which actually behooves me because of the fact that that's all Jesus did was cast out demons. Come on, somebody. Yeah, he preached and he teached and he did parables, but his main three years on this earth he cast out demons and he knew that there was a demonic entity. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all keep on talking about mental healthness and this and that and this and that. Y'all don't want to talk about that as spirits. Y'all don't want to talk about that as demons. Y'all don't want to talk about that the church is filled with them. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So we're going to talk about it today. Oh, come on, somebody. And I'm going to tell you what actually promote, what prompted this. And I'm going to be very, very real. I don't know how else to be. Come on, somebody. How do you? So I'm going in this thing and I'm going in this thing deep. Somebody tried to do me something. Somebody tried to prick and, and I guess they wanted blood from me. And, and I'm not going to go into the details, but I didn't appreciate it. How about that? I didn't appreciate it at all. First of all, I'm a, I, I'm, I notice things. So I'm like, God, I'm glad that the, that my skin didn't break. Secondly, they ought to be happy because here's the deal. We got to go back to the authority, just like I said yesterday. But most of all, y'all got to understand why they want the blood of the chosen. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me this morning, but I'm going to go here anyway. The blood of the chosen is pure blood. You got to understand. Oh, let's go back when Cain killed Abel. What did the Bible say in Genesis? It said that, as a matter of fact, we're going to go to that scripture. Oh, we're going there, y'all. I'm telling you, just walk with me. Walk with me this morning. So praise God, praise God. You see my title? Well, anyway, when King killed Abel, his blood, actually, he heard, God heard his blood. Come on, somebody. But God already knew what had happened. So hold on. I'm actually getting to that scripture right now. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah to his name. I'm going in this morning. And like I said, I haven't done one like this for a moment, but I wanted to focus because I'm going to be actually teaching. I'm going to be doing no preaching. But let me tell you something. Every day you have to pray. Every day you have to pray. Praise God. Praise God. Uh, righty. So guess what? <laughs> it, it's not coming up. That's why I don't like technology. I don't care what y'all say. <laughs> so I got to go. Hold on to the Bible. But anyway, the Bible says that when he killed his brother, he he, he tried to play it off. Talking about, uh, am I his keeper? And God said, no, you're not his keeper, but I hear his blood. Come on, somebody. So it's something about the blood. The blood has the life in it. You got to understand. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go deep this morning. Come on, somebody. I ain't even going to um, go that way because then I might get thrown off. I'm going to stay with what I'm saying. But I will say this. But it's in first. It's in Genesis, you guys. So if you ever want to read about that story, just go ahead. And the first, second third chapter of Genesis. Praise God. Praise. As a matter of fact, it is actually in Genesis. Let's see. Chapter six, seven, and eight. Just read those chapters. Okay. So basically let me, let me get to my point. So what the demonic realm tries to do is the demonic group tries to recreate the blood of Jesus Christ. Let's go back to Calvary. When God had died, Jesus had died on Calvary. Notice what he said. He said, it is finished. His assignment was finished. What he had to do those three years was finished. Now, I need you to, to keep in mind the number of three because everything is numbers and everything is blood. Come on, somebody. People don't teach on this level, so I need you to catch me this morning. So let's go 
what they're always trying to do is recreate the blood of Jesus Christ. They cannot because Satan is, was a demonic entity. Come on. Somebody is a demonic entity. Jesus came in actually a human form. So he had to redeem us. Come on. Somebody hallelujah, by the blood of Jesus Christ. That's why his blood had to be shed. What happened is the old Testament. It was atonement. So the new Testament, it was still atonement, but it was his body. You see in the old Testament, they used animals for actually the abolish of the abolishment of sins. The priest had to go in, he had to take a calf, a, a, a whatever, an ox, a goat, whatever the whatever God said, and the blood had to be shed. So I need y'all to understand how powerful the blood is. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me this morning. It's so powerful that it does not matter what happens. I need you to know the blood of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. It will keep you. It will heal you. It will deliver you. It will cast out demons. Oh, come on, somebody. So you got to understand we focus on the blood this morning. That's the same thing the demonic entities and the kingdom of darkness is focused on. So they're always trying to recreate the blood of Jesus Christ. So this is what they do. This is what the elite do. This is what people who practice witchcraft do. Most of the time they want your hair or they want something that you have something. It could be a scarf. It could be whatever belongs to you. Now that's on a low level witchcraft, but high witchcraft. They need some blood. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm talking to y'all this morning. This ain't no game. This ain't for no people that's playing church. I'm telling you right now, this for the real stuff. And hold on. This is not to scare you. Because in 2 Timothy, it says, I have not given you the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Y'all people act like y'all don't want to hear the truth. Y'all better understand what these demons are trying to do. In this level, in the last days, they're trying to recreate. How do you think these portals are being opened? Everything begins and ends with the blood of Jesus and everything begins and ends with blood. So here's what they do. The Kardashians. And, and this is all research that I've done years ago, but I'm, I'm going somewhere with this. This is all going to tie in. The Kardashians, one of the reasons, not just them, a lot of people look youthful in Hollywood. You think they just get those Botox. Can I tell you something? That's not all what they do. They actually bathe in the blood of virgins. This is not something hearsay. This is real. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all wondering why people are disappearing. Y'all wondering why these youth, mostly it's youth, right? Let me tell you something. They're not just doing sex trafficking with the youth. They need baby's blood and they need the youth blood. They actually drink the blood. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I know this is going to sound gross to you. I know. And if some of you can't take it, I, su I suggest you just get off my life right now because it's going to get deeper. So, Everything is about blood with them because what they're trying to do is summon the spirits of darkness. That's why if you really look, that's why so much blood has been shed in this hour like never before. And God says that the man and the, the man and the sin of lawlessness covers the earth right now. They need blood to be shed. You got to understand what happens because blood summons the demonic darkness. So that's why blood is being shed in this hour. And hold on. It starts with witchcraft. What they do is they, they pray over your Facebook pictures. That's why you have to pray over your Facebook page. They pray over everything. They pray over movies. They know what movies y'all going to watch before y'all watch them. Empire. Y'all y'all not ready for me this morning. Y'all not ready for me, but I'm going to go anyway. Everything is actually calculated and systematically calculated. Y'all thinking that things just happen. Y'all think we just live in a world. The Bible says that we are not of this world. So everything that they do is demonic. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So let me continue. Saints of God, it is time for you to start praying. Praying over your region. It is time for you to start praying over your city. It is time for you to start praying over your country. Come on, somebody. It's time for you to start praying over your family. There is no reason they should have that many people missing, especially young girls, young men. Let me tell you, they're getting picked up, you guys, because people are sacrificing them. And, and hold on. We're not just talking about the elite. They have people everywhere in every field. Y'all better hear me this morning. Y'all can get, get mad if you want to because some of y'all don't like the truth. They have people in every field. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's in the nursing field. That's in police. Whatever you're working at, whatever job, I promise you they have an elite. That's why. That, you remember back in the day they used to say, Big Brother's always listening. He really is. He just listened more now. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So let me go somewhere with this. 
Everything begins and ends with the blood. That's why we have to continue to plead the blood, draw bloodlines, and understand that we have the power and the authority by the blood of Jesus Christ. So what I'm saying is that most of these demonic witchcrafts that are even happening in the church is called Christian witchcraft. They are actually praying in the back. Come on, somebody. They're praying underneath. They have rooms. Come on, somebody. They have rooms that they do certain things. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all wonder why bad things are happening. They're happening because portals are being opened and people are summoning them. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So God was saying that they need the blood of the chosen ones. They use virgin bloods. They need blood of people that actually live the life. Come on, somebody. Let me ask you something. You think you have power if you sinning? Let me go. We going real this morning. You ain't got no power if you sinning. I don't care if it's drinking, if it's sexing, if it's doing whatever, looking at porn, your spirit is tainted. You have no power. Come on, somebody. I'm just being real with you. Not trying to bash you. You ain't got no power. So who are, who are the enemy really after? The enemy is after those that live that life, life of obedience, life of prayer, life of fasting. What am I saying? You have to watch yourself. You have to gird yourself. And I'm telling you right now, God said that it is actually getting higher. The, the warfare is getting higher because the saints are not praying. You're not praying enough. You're not fasting enough. And I'm going here this morning. Some of you talking about you on a fast and the first day you're eating. You got to stop lying. If you're going to fast, you better fast. This ain't just about a fast. This is about your life. This is about your neighborhood. This is about your family. This is about the body of Christ. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The blood of the chosen. They want the blood of the chosen. And, and hold on. It's, it's going to come a day when they want it. Actually, they want to kill the chosen. So you got to understand what I'm talking about this morning. The blood. But I'm going to go here deeper. Let me go ahead and talk about some research here. So 2 Corinthians says, 11, 14 to 15, and no marvel for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also can be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end should be according to their works. You know what God was talking about in that scripture? He was talking about mainly the people that profess to be preachers and teachers. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I, I, was, I told y'all the other night, I don't know if you saw my um, recording yesterday. I was in a place where somebody was preaching and I, I, I just, I got to be authentic. I don't know how to do all that shucking and jiving. They think I didn't see them throw up the devil's horn. I don't miss nothing. I don't miss nothing. I didn't, I, I said, Lord have mercy. How many of them preaching and yet belong to Satan, the synagogue of Satan. So let me continue. So what's happening is it's becoming mainstream about the blood. Now let's talk about Leviticus 17, 11. for the life of the flesh is in the blood. And I've given it to you upon the altar to make atonement for your souls, for it is the blood that make it atonement for the soul. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So let's go back about the blood. Basically what they're doing is they're using blood to do rituals. Now they do it and they have sex magic. That's what they do in um, Hollywood. They call it the brotherhood and the sisterhood. So that's, they really do sign contracts in blood, but that's, that's not just all. They have orgies and they actually cut themselves. You're not ready for me. So when they cut themselves, they are actually saying, hell, Satan, hell, Satan. So when they do that, they're forming an alliance. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all got to understand what's happening here. Just like we have an alliance with Jesus Christ, they have an alliance to Satan. So we're talking about the blood. We're talking about lust. We're talking about cults and the occult. We're talking about human sacrifice. I know y'all don't want to hear it. The Illuminati and occult Satanism. We're talking about Luciferianism. What is Luciferianism? Most, most preachers are Luciferian. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. They were the Pharisees and the Sadducees, and they still the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Why do you think they mainstream? Let me tell y'all something. They ain't letting no real preacher that's anointed on TV. Y'all can just say what y'all want to say and do what y'all want to do. I'm talking about somebody that when they speak the blood of Jesus, Jesus. When they speak, they have so much authority that people will get saved and healed. They don't want 
want that anointing on TV. So y'all better stop playing yourselves. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm preaching. I'm preaching up in here and teaching. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So God got me on this this morning. He said, Deanna, my people don't understand the times on the signs of the times. You guys do not understand what we really in. That's why everything is. It, OK, here's what they do. I see them, they go in rooms. They really do have those red hoods. The the powerful ones have the red hoods. The unpowerful ones, just traditional witches and warlocks, they have the black hoods. They pray over everything. They pray over movies. They pray over videos. Why y'all think those, those kids went to another dimension when they started getting them video games? Back in the 80s and the 90s when they were just doing Pac-Man, Mrs. Pac-Man and all that stuff, they wasn't getting violent. But as soon as they brought Grand Auto Theft in and all those other ones, why do you think they started becoming more violent. It is the same thing that if you're watching a movie, let me tell you something, the reels, what is the reels? You know, that big old thing that has the tape that they actually make the movies with. They go in the room and they pray over it. And what, so whoever looks at it, you start feeling some type of way. You start acting some type of way. Oh, I'm going to go here. Some of you are not going to like it this morning. It's the same thing with hair. Some of you wear uh, fake hair, and, and I know now you say, well, I had cancer, and I had this, and I had that. But what did the Old Testament do? Did they put um, fake hair on their head? But what y'all don't understand is most of that, that hair is is to a God. They they do rich, rich, riches with that. Excuse me. They do riches with that. So now you're putting it on your head, and then you become somebody else, and you don't even understand where them spirits are coming from. Oh, come on, somebody. I know you don't understand what I'm saying, and some of you do, but you're going to do what you do, how you do what you do. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So everything is a spirit. It behooves me how we think that it's not a spirit. How could you not believe that it is a spirit when Jesus said this is what's happening? He said it in the old and he said it in the new. And when I say, oh, we're talking about the spirit of God. The spirit of God has always told us that we had an enemy named Satan. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So let me continue my journey. So they pray over everything. Why do you think that people are doing stuff with the food? They found out, what, four or five years ago that they was putting human DNA in hot dogs. I've been talking to you and preaching this stuff for years, not to scare you, not to make you feel uncomfortable, but the Bible says that my people perish for lack of knowledge. We have a church that don't want to be churched. We have a church that don't want to be powerful. We have a church that don't want to know the truth. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It begins and ends with the blood. So what they're doing is they're sacrificing our babies. They're sacrificing our teens. They group raping them. Y'all not ready. Y'all not ready for me, especially virgins. So I'm on here to tell you that these people are very, very demonic and evil. They try to get your blood, the blood of the chosen ones. They don't need nobody to blood of sin because your blood ain't powerful anyway. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So everything is about witchcraft these days. Witchcraft over the food. Witchcraft in ministry. Manipulation. Always trying to control. That's rebellion, which is sin, which is witchcraft. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I'm telling you what does said the Lord this morning. So, Apostle, how do you actually come back this? You have to be anointed. You have to be anointed and appointed. You can, in this day and age, I would suggest that you get close to God. In this day and age, I would suggest you stop playing. In this day and age, I would suggest that you stop sinning. I'm not saying be perfect because none of us, we all fall short of the glory of God. But I'm going to tell you right now, in order to truly be not affected by this, notice what I said. Because most people are being affected. Let me tell y'all something. The Bible is really strategic. It tells us how to combat every spirit of Satan. But I'm going to tell you right now, if you don't gird your eyes, if you don't gird your ears, if you up here sleeping with all these, and, and, and some of these people are demonic. Some of you sleep, sleeping with people that you meet in a club, you meet for the first time, and you thinking they all real, and they might be a whole de demon possessed in somebody's body, and y'all don't understand what's happening out here. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. The enemy has one goal, and that's to still kill and destroy, and by any means necessary. Sarah, the church better understand where we at and what we going through. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah.
But they can't preach nothing like this because guess what? They scared of it. And the only reason you scared is because you are not authentic and you're not pure because you can't do this unless you are. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. The anointing has to show you what's real and what's not. Otherwise you will think I'm talking gibberish right now. Come on somebody. Hallelujah to his name. Everybody can't take this kind of teaching. Everybody can't take this kind of preaching. Everybody can't understand it because if you are not spiritually inclined, then you think I've lost my mind. Oh, come on somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all don't know what I'm saying up in here. It's about the blood of Jesus, but it's about what they're doing. So they're sacrificing our kids. Come on, somebody. They are sacrificing grown men. It's not just about, yeah, they're taking their organs too, but they're sacrificing them, y'all. So God wanted me to get up here and tell you, you got to start praying against this stuff. Stop praying against witchcraft. Stop praying against, I'm talking about even your Facebook page. Pray over your computer. No computer demons. No demonic entities. No witches and warlocks. Well, let me tell you something. They're going to do what they do. But the power of Jesus stops it every time. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But there are some times that God allows things. And that's what you have to understand and be mindful of. Because I know some of you are here saying in your spirit, well, why God is allowing it? Well, I tell you what, why did he allow half of the stuff in the Bible? Everything is a test. Everything is a test. Everything is a trial. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, to show his glory. Oh, come on, somebody, and he's still showing his glory. God is looking for some Moseses. God is looking for some Davids. God is looking for some Deborahs. God is looking for some Joshuas in this hour. But to be honest with you, the church too busy vacaying <laughs> and straying and playing. Y'all ain't ready for me this morning. Y'all ain't ready for me. It is time that we be about our father's business. I'm talking about real business. I ain't talking about that stuff. I'm talking about willing. I'm talking about shut in prayers. I'm talking about getting on your face and pray over your city. Pray over your city. Pray over your state. Pray over your children. Pray over the church. This stuff is real. Let me tell you something. Blood sacrifice is real. It's, it's been since the beginning of time. We're talking about the God Molech. The God more like which they worship and they still worship the Greek gods. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So they still sacrifice into Moloch, whether you like it or not. Come on, somebody. Why do you think that there's so much demonic killings? Let me tell you something. And y'all not going to believe it unless you are spiritually inclined. What am I saying? Those that worship God must worship him in spirit and in truth. You can't hear the truth if you ain't walking in the spirit, people. And I'm not saying that you have to be perfect. But you, if, in order to understand even what I'm saying on this live, you have to have the spirit of God. If you do not, then you don't understand. It's mumbo jumbo to you. So what am I saying? Some of these deaths that y'all hearing about that people like, like I told y'all when that was last year, the guy that killed his family. You can say what you want. They prayed over that man. Let me tell you something. Everything is test runs. What are test runs? Just like God. Okay. Have you ever felt the anointing of God? Don't play with me now. Have, have How many of you have been under the influence of the anointing? The true anointing. I'm talking about your legs will feel like jelly. You can't even get up. I'm talking about when you truly have had laid hands on you. I'm not talking about when you just fall out. I'm about, oh, he's so powerful. And they ain't even powerful. I'm not talking about that foolishness. I'm talking about that real stuff. And when you've been slain under the spirit, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Well, the same power that Jesus Christ has, let's reverse it. They have power. It's not as strong as Jesus Christ, but it is demonic power. Let me tell you something. It can be through a RFID chip. Come on, somebody. Y'all wonder why people are clones. I'm talking on a level this morning. If you ain't ready for it, just get off my live. God bless you. Hallelujah. Go about your business. <laughs> y'all don't hear me. All this stuff is real. There is a kingdom of darkness that is trying to overtake the kingdom of God. And God said, not so. God said, my people would not perish for ignorance because God going to let us know those that can handle it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. There are some of you that all you're supposed to do is pray. There are some of you all you're supposed to do is fast. There are some of us that we are, we are um, mandated to war. There are some of us that see demons. There are some of us that, that can speak. Come on, somebody. Speak over countries, nations. Come on, somebody. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying this morning. So whatever your calling is, make your election sure, but you better believe that you have to walk in the anointing of God to combat the kingdom of darkness. So that's why so much stuff is happening, God says. God says that they have rafted up. They are praying. They are trying to kill everybody spiritually and physically. Let me tell you something. Let me end this like this. The devil 
wants to still kill and destroy you and he's not playing he knows he has but a short time so his thing is i'm gonna take out everybody that i can with me oh come on fool you crazy because the real ones we're gonna fight we're gonna fight we're gonna fight if we gotta fight by ourselves but we're not by ourselves because remember you have angels come on somebody some of you have worn angels some of you just have normal angels there are different type of angels for different type of people it all depends according to your anointing and your appointment come on somebody hallelujah so get back to what i'm saying it is time that you start really fasting and praying to set the lord this is high times it is too much demonic warfare it should not be this prevalent god said the lord with the power of god because the power of god is still above all of this foolishness but this stuff is happening this stuff is happening right in the church god says how is it that a witch and a warlock is comfortable in your church that's what you should be thinking about how is it that a witch and a warlock feels comfortable walking up to you because i'm gonna tell you right now you know why they don't like me because they can't just walk up to me hallelujah i feel the power of god they can't play with me because i'm telling you right now i couldn't understand i'm gonna be a little transparent like i always say i couldn't understand why i went through all the hell i went through and the background i had now i know why God needed me to go through that stuff and it was hard and I didn't like it and I didn't understand it and they'll come on somebody hallelujah but now I understand it I needed that mess so I could be a message today and let's say no back up off me because I ain't no softy I am that person oh come on somebody hallelujah it's not an arrogance it's a confidence I know who I am through Christ Jesus and I'm scared of no demons no witches no warlocks come on somebody God need a people to stand up. God need the remnant to stand up in this hour. Quit being jelly bag. Quit letting sex rule you, lust rule you, money rule you, and be pure so that you can fight off these demons. Hallelujah to his name. That's what the church is missing. The power of Jesus Christ. And you cannot have it unless you're pure. I didn't say perfect. I said pure. Come on, somebody. You got to walk in obedience. You can't be having sex and preaching. Most of us oh, don't play with me. Y'all know how many people doing that? And then for money on Facebook, y'all know how many people doing that? And you know how many of them y'all follow? Because they dress, oh, I don't know this woman's name. I saw this something this woman yesterday. And I mean, she had, I mean, she had it going on. The live was just like, man, I don't know how many of y'all was on there. And I saw what she was having on. And she said that she was doing a prayer. Let me tell you something, how I know that they be lying. God is not, God is a holy God. Let me break it down slow because y'all might think somebody hate me. God is not going, God is not going to be with you. God is a holy God. Holy Bible, Holy Spirit. You dress like a Jezebel and you saying you're praying for God. Y'all better stop lying and playing with God, bro. Straight up. I'm sorry. I got a little thuggish right there. Y'all better quit playing with God. For real. Y'all don't know who God is. God is a holy God. I don't care how much swag y'all want to have. God is holy. He And guess what? He worships in holiness. Meaning that you have to worship him in spirit and in truth. I don't want to hear that because anybody can preach a good prayer. Anybody can teach a good this. and anybody. Y'all better start understanding that the power of God is what's going to make these demons back up. That's why I got up on here. Too many children. Too many people being sacrificed. And God is not pleased. He's saying, where's the church? Well, you at church? Oh, I'm sorry. You're getting famous, huh? I I'm sorry. Oh, you're getting that money, huh? Oh, I I'm, I'm sorry. You're looking good, huh? Most of y'all dress like models, not warriors. Y'all get on my nerve. Yeah, I said, ain't nobody jealous. I could dress like that if I want to. This is a war. I ain't got time to be cute. The only time you're supposed to be cute is with your husband or your wife. Yeah, I said it. You sitting up there dressing like you going out for to do a model job and, and there's a whole war out here. People dying. My God, my God, it's the blood of Jesus. They're after your blood, saints. They're after the blood of our children, our families. What you going to do, God says. So I pray that you get it together. We pray. We be on one accord. Guard your gates. Call those things that be not as though they are. But y'all got to stop opening your mouth too. When y'all see something that's not right, I'm so tired of everybody talking about, oh, don't judge. That's why that's why people going to hell right now because y'all ain't saying nothing. That's why the church is in disarray because y'all ain't saying nothing. Well, we just supposed to pray for them. You know what? I'm so glad that we have the Bible and the old saints left something with us. Because the real ones know you can get mad all day long. I'm going to say what God says to say. And I'm going to do what God says to do. Even if I'm by myself. 
Hallelujah to his name. Y'all better understand what's happening. The world is in a mess because the church ain't got a powerful message the way it used to have. The world is in a mess because y'all don't want to really talk about Jesus Christ's message. Jesus talked about demons. He didn't say mental illness. <laughs> y'all crazy. Everything's a spirit. It's the blood. It's the blood of Jesus. These witches and warlocks are getting stronger. That should not be. Because the power of God is still stronger than anything. Anybody, any witch, any warlock, any chaldron, any reptilian. Y'all ain't ready for me. These elitists out here. And I'm going to tell y'all something, saints. I got to leave you with this. Does God make stars? Because most of you want to be a star. Well, I'm so sorry. The Bible says, come be out from among them. You can't be a star or a world-renowned this or that without Satan's approval. That's right, not even Christians. So, with that being said, you go on with your famous self, you hear? <laughs> yeah, I said it, because somebody had to. The same deal that he offered to Jesus, he's offering to every last one of us. If you fall down and worship me, I give you this. Remember who's the God of this world, by the way, and, that, like, and next time you get it twisted with something. Because <laughs> everybody got it twisted. The God of this world is real, and he's offering people deals every day for your souls. And I pray that you don't take it. Because hell is real. Praise God, praise God, praise God. All right, you guys, let me get up off of here. Mm -mm -mm. Power of God is real. So, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you understand what this life was about. I pray the power of Holy Ghost be in your life. I pray the fire of God be in your life. Start standing up to these witches, these demons. Do your job. Get on your job, man of God. Get on your job, woman of God. Stop wanting to be famous. Stop, stop wanting to be liked. Everybody's not going to like you when you're preaching the truth. I'm going to tell you that right off the top. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Real life soldiers for that is who we are. God bless. <laughs>